Welcome to today's Section 5 matchup between the Hornell Red Raiders and the Campbell Savona Panthers. I'm Bob Peicher, broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. Welcome those watching from Camp El Savona as well as Hornell. First event this morning is the 200 medley relay. First up is 200 medley relay. Hornell is racing in lane two, four, and six. One, three, five is Camp Bell Savona. This is event number one. Heat one. Campbell Savona in one, three, and five. Hornell, two, and four. Campbell Savona, lane three, has the early advantage here. Campbell Savona in lane three with the early lead here. One four nine nine eight for Campbell Savona. Third place finish with a 214.66. That was the 200 medley relay. Next up is the 200 freestyle. So Campbell gonna take first and second.
you missed that. <laughs> The umpire, whatever you call him here, dropped the microphone in the water. <laughs> Hope it still works. Good race here between Cornell and, looks like Cornell's got the lead here. This is the 200 freestyle. Neck and neck here. It's Cornell lane four, Ponticello. See how they turn? Wow. Neck and neck still. Well, they haven't changed the lick very close here. Point seven sec, point zero seven seconds difference. That's how you say it in this. Ponticello. <laughs> Let's show you how close that is. Point zero four. Can't get closer than that. Well, I guess you could. But you got some finishers going on here. Again on Facebook, don't forget to let us know where you're watching from. Oh, the JJ Reinhardt must be driving through <laughs> home. Don't be watching your phone while you're driving. There you go. It's the third swim meet I've done this year, and that was the closest finish we've seen. Next up is the 200 individual melody. for Hono. Are here. Three Camp Bell Savonas. The Panthers of Camp Bell Savona. We're live on Facebook early Saturday morning here. Beautiful day in Maple City. Here 
leader here in lane one. Right now, Campbell Zavona is leading first and second place, third place, Hornell. Next is the 50 freestyle. I couldn't hear it. Again, 50 freestyle. This is up and back.
thanks our sponsors, Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys with offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders. And by Maple City Dodge, get up and see the 2018s at Maple City Dodge Airport Road in Hornell. Great service, sales, and a great place. With Rhonda Wilsey at Howard Hanna, 382-4539. Let her find your next home and, and sell your last home. Rhonda Wilsey, Howard Hanna. Of course, John Dagan, trial, general and trial practice since 1989. Call 324-6690. And, of course, get your cans and bottles into Main Street Redemption Center. Open seven days a week, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, and 9 to 3 on Saturday and Sunday. Braden Caruso doing some diving. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Actually, just warming up here. I'd give that a four and a half. chance to give your advertisers. Poulos Roselle, attorneys at law offices in the Crossroad Professional Building. Give Tim Roselle and Bill Poulos a call, 324-7333. Poulos and Roselle. Wyan Chiropractic, call Dr. John Wyan, Dr. Joseph McKay, 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union protects you for you for over 50 years. Stop and see Marty Piccolo at the Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union. As we get ready for diving here as the divers warm up. Of course, Marino's 110 Loader Street in Hornell. Lunch and dinner, 11.30 till 10 at night, and the bar is open till 1. Of course, Yum Frozen Yogurt, right across from the high school. Yum Frozen Yogurt, 12 different flavors, self-service too. Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation, general and residential installation, new and old construction, attics, additions, you name it. Crawl spaces, airtightofnewyork.com. Of course, Remax, hometown choice, Reggie Gambino and Martha Marino. Offices at 117 Main Street. Call 697-3629. Remax, hometown choice. Of course, Connors and Ferris. Thanks again. And we are live from Hornell Intermediate School swimming pool. And anyone that ever graduated from Hornell High School swam here at one point or another growing up. It's all new facilities as we take a quick look around. If you haven't been in here, they got new lighting, new uh, sound. And I guess these things here are heaters of some sort that are hanging. <laughs> I guess I'm not sure. Maybe they're not. Maybe there's some kind of moisturizer dispensing system. This is this first year in this new pool. The 
divers get ready. I think they each do five dives, if I'm not mistaken. Kevin Hickson, Braden Caruso for Hornell. Panicellos are down in Florida right now. If you want to know what your son's doing, he's just hanging out by the door over here. Not paying attention to what's going on. They're enjoying Disney World. A little bit too much. Four and a half, Smelnich. Andy Smelnich, the official here. Sort of sitting separate the other day, they were the same, right next to each other. This is Kevin Hickson, Hornell. They should have those robotic or uh, mechanically just press a button. Very nice. Five and a half. Six and a half, five and a half for Hickson. This is Campbell Savona. Mark Eaton. Very nice. Six and a half and a seven. Seven, six and a half for Eaton. Now Braden Caruso again. Good job, Braden. 
Five and a half, five for Braden. Sam Roberts, second dive. Is a Sam Roberts, second dive coming up. Oops. Not sure that's what he intended. Four, three and a half. I think he wanted to go straighter in on that one. Coming from someone that's never dove competitively. <laughs> I can just tell he was upset about it. Hickson, Kevin Hickson up. actually on Facebook watching my broadcast. He gets up there on that. Seven and a half, six. Might have tweaked himself a little bit there. Ray Crusoe's third dive is a 302 C. Reverse, one somersault in the top position. Degree of difficulty, 1.6. Go. Five and a half, five. Good job, Sam Roberts, third dive is a Sam Roberts. Reverse, one somersault in the top position, degree of difficulty, one point. Nice. Five and a half, five. Four and a half, four and a half. Mark Eaton's third dive is a 
Eaton from Campbell Savona. Five and a half, five. Good. Five, five. Five, five for Braden. Five and a half, five. Kevin Hickson scored five in the 304C reverse. There's Coach Mark Kelly giving some instructions. Degree of difficulty, 2.3. One of the outstanding swimmers in his day back in 1985. That's right, 32 years ago. And a half, five. Nice job. Seven and a half, six and a half. So, coach, or former coach Smellin is here. Not as generous as the other official. <laughs> or judge. Grid. That's a score, four and a half, four. Sam Roberts, fifth time, the 202C, back with one somersault in the 
in the cross position. Degree of difficulty, 1.5. Four and a half, four and a half. Mark Eaton stiff drive is 5132D, forward, one and a half somersaults, one twist in the three position. Degree of difficulty, 2.2. Six and a half, five and a half. There's Braden. Braden Crusoe's final dive is a 401C inward drive, cross position. Degree of difficulty, 1.4. Sam Roberts' final dive is a 5211A back dive with a half twist in the straight position. Degree of difficulty 1.8. Three and a half, four. Kevin Hickson's final dive is a 403C inward, one and a half somersault, top position, degree of difficulty, 2.2. Mark Eaton's final dive is a 105C, forward, two and a half somersaults, tuck position.
grade difficulty, two plus four. Our customers expect the highest level of sales and service here at Maple City Dodge. I don't buy a lot of trucks because they last so long, but I know I'll be back to Maple City Dodge for my next one. We always shop around and we've ended up buying our last six vehicles from Maple City Dodge. They always have the best deals. I've always found their service department to be prompt and courteous. Come on down to Maple City Dodge where we make buying a car easy and fun. Join Connors and Ferris in supporting the Kelly Tough Every Score, benefiting Hunter's Hope. Every time the Bills score, children win. For more information, visit connorsandferris.com. If you get hurt at work, you want to be able to turn to a professional you can trust. Someone on your side. Call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, committed to serving you. Okay, welcome back for those watching on Facebook Live and on Time Warner Spectrum Channel 99. Heist TV, 52 to 24 is the score. Campbell Savona on top here in Section 5 swimming. This must be just an exhibition. Oh, I don't know if it... The 100 butterfly. No one from Hornell competing. So it did count, 65-24, now is the score.
In lane two, Kilhorne Island, Nick Royer. Lane four, Matt Royer. Lane six, Bracken Donovan. yard freestyle. Cornell in lane two, four, and six. Campos is only in lane one, three, five. Seven seconds better than his last race against Whalen Cohocton. It's a good job. Number Hornell in lane two, four, and six. Campbell Savona in one, three, five. The winner of the 100 feet from Hornell in lane four, Matt Oyer with a time of 38. That's Matt Oyer. Campbell Savona, 74, Hornell, 31. Next event is the 500 freestyle in lane four. So Callum Ponticello in lane four. In lane three, Campo Simona, Dominic Lee. In lane five, Ben Selvin. In lane one, Jacob Lansky. Let's go, Campbell. Here we go. The 500 freestyle. Cornell Penicello in middle okay. lane there. Lane four. It's the only Hornell racer in this. Five 
500 freestyle. Cello in second. Tight race here. Cornell, Ponticello in the lead. Colin Ponticello. Cello opening things up here. Cello with large lead now. This is it. Ponticello is going to win it for Hornell. He's pumped. Only his parents were here to see this. Swimmer left to finish up.
200 freestyle relay. And 200 freestyle relay. In case you're just joining us, Campbell Savona in lanes one, three, and five. Hornell in lanes two, four, and six. And I'm Bob Pleischer broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. 83-37 on the John N. Dagan scoreboard. Campbell Savona out in front right now by a large margin. That's why we have four swimmers. And you can see the differential here. Right now, Campbell Savona in first and second place. your leader. There's your winner. 136-21. Second place is going to be Cantwell Savona as well with a 148-44. Third place is gonna go to Hornell. For the 158-91. Well, thank you for our sponsors today. Remax Hometown Choice, offices at 117 Main Street in Hornell. Call Reggie Gambino and Martha Marino. Remax Hometown Choice, 697 3629. Of course, Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys, with offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders, Connors and Ferris. Of course, Maple City Dodge, the 2018s are in up at Maple City Dodge. Stop and see Gary Harwood in the airport road in Hornell Dodge Chrysler Jeep. So 95-39. Pritchard in second. This is event 10. Yard backstroke. Yeah. 
again, Hornell in lane two, four, and six, Camp Bell Savona. Panthers in lane one, three, and five. Right now, Hornell, that's lane four right there with the lead. Camp Bell Savona right behind. Hornell winning, coming in first with a 106.82. Second place with a 112.89. Remember Hornell's in lane two, four, and six. And Campbell Savona's in lane one, three, and five. So Campbell Savona is going to take the second and third place here, which This is the 100 breaststroke. Savona in first, Hornell on the near side here in the second. Second, 120.73 for first, 126.25. And third place also goes to Campus Savona, 128.45. Remember, make sure you call Rhonda Wilson if you're buying your next home or selling your last. 
Off 3-8-2-45, 39, Howard Hanna and Rhonda Wilsey. Of course, John and Dagan, general trial practice since 1989. Call 3-2-4, 66-90. Main Street Redemption Center open seven days a week, 96 Monday through Friday, and 93 Saturday and Sunday. Of course, Pools and Roselle, attorneys at law. Well, 324-7333, Tim Roselle and Bill Poulos, Poulos and Roselle. Office is located in the Crossroads Professional Building. <laughs> Next up is the 400 Freestyle Relay. Looks like Hickson, Roberts, Thompson, and Caruso. Lane two. And lane four. Boyer, Clifford, Boyer, and Ponticello, if I'm not mistaken. It's like my dad says, he was never wrong in his life. He's only been mistaken. at work over there, the judges. They should have those surfaces, uh, Microsoft Surface tablets doing all the calculations for them. One fourteen fifty two is the score now. So here's the final event, like we said. Campbell Savona leading in all three lanes here.
is your leader. Calling three. Canto Savona wins with a 3 42 85. Second place is also going to go to Canto Savona. That's Braden Crusoe jumping in for Hornell. Last diver. Second place also to Campo Savona with a 4-13-67. And this is the final event, 400 freestyle relay. And third place goes to Hornell with a 4-25-93. Braden Caruso to finish things up. Got the pool all to himself. First two go to Campo Savona, then to Hornell. Braden is exhausted. it for the races today. Watch your stuff, girls.
that's your final, 126-54. Campbell Savona victorious here today. Thanks again for joining us, I'm Bob Pleasure. Next live event will be Tuesday as 1L Red Raider basketball is back in action. Of course, again, today's game is brought to you by Wyan Kyle Practic. Thank you very much. Of course, Hornell Area Federal Credit Union serving in Hornell Area over 50 years. Marino's at 110 Loader Street, open six days a week, closed Sundays. Yum frozen yogurt across from the high school in Hornell. Self-serve. Of course, airtight of New York.com, spray foam insulation. And Remax Hometown Choice. 117 Main Street in Hornell. Connors and Ferris. Maple City Dodge. Rhonda Wilsey at Howard Hanna. John and Dagan. Main Street Redemption Center. Kudos and Rosanna.